This week on Make It Mine, we're in Tacoma, Washington with our resident Marilyn. Our designer Gwen meets up with Marilyn to chat about her move in and how moving into a new space comes with a few unexpected challenges. Marilyn and her dog Pasha recently moved from California to Washington State to be closer to her family. But she found that downsizing to a studio apartment from a two-bedroom home makes it hard to fit comfortably into her new space. Can our designer find a way to open up her studio apartment to make use of every square foot? Let's find out! Thank you so much for being open to me coming and putting my eyes on your space. I'm scared. <laughs> I, I don't know how you're going to do anything. I'm amazed at you even taking a challenge oh, like I'm this. I'm excited. I you love know. a good challenge. Well, I've been downsizing for years, and I've got to downsize some more, I see. I was lost. Yeah. I really was. Basically, I was overwhelmed because when you don't know where to put things or what to do, we just sort of move in and put things where they are. I still don't know what to do or how to do yeah, it. Yeah, so you've just felt kind of overwhelmed. And, and overwhelmed is the yeah. word for it, really. Yeah. How would you like to feel in your home? More comfortable, a little more open. I, I don't know how you're gonna do it. I have no idea. Well, we're gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I've met with Marilyn and I've seen her space and what I really want to do is help define some of the different zones in her apartment. You know, when you live in a studio apartment, you're doing it all in the same room and yet it's nice to feel like there's some differentiation between the kitchen and the bedroom and the living area. So I really want to figure out what I can do to help kind of anchor and define those different areas. Marilyn told me she's not a modern girl. She likes country style things. So I think I would bring in light colors, florals. She used to refinish furniture and she has several nice pieces. I want to highlight those. The organization is is a piece. She's got a lot of stuff. I think I'm gonna bring in an organizer to help me who can focus on those areas specifically and allow me to focus more on the design and bringing in beauty. But she was yeah. willing to get rid of some paperwork, the old paperwork, and so that's one area I think I can really help her, but I wanna get into the visual yeah. first. Yeah. You know, I love helping people have the life that they want. I'll usually ask people what are their favorite things about their space, what are their favorite things that they own, what really makes them happy. A lot of times people will say that they don't want to feel overwhelmed by this or that, by their paperwork or by opening a drawer and having it be too full or not knowing where things are, that kind of thing. So whatever's important to them, that comes to the forefront and then everything else can kind of fall away. Huh? Isabella Thanks. loves Pasha. She likes to cuddle with him or pet him. Isabella, you know that Pasha's gonna go get a haircut today. Do you, know <laughs> you think Pasha's gonna like that? <laughs> <laughs> He's a great dog. He's my pride and joy. He's my buddy. <laughs> He's my friend. Take us on walks around this area, and we can go into the garden and just kind of look around and enjoy the nature. She's got a little area over here that she calls the roller coaster. Have you <laughs> have you gone on the roller coaster before? Ready? Set? Go! What was your response when you heard that there was this group going to come in? It was sort of a joke. <laughs> I was confident that. It wasn't going to be me, because I never win anything. And then Jeff said, they're going to do your room. And I was going, oh my god, <laughs> my room? <laughs> we just hope she has a open space. Open space. I'm sure it's going to be brighter than it was before. And just looking forward to seeing her reaction and with that. Yeah. It's a challenge. It really is. There's a few things in here as well, Allison. I don't know if you saw this stuff. I'm just like, no, I have not seen in there yet. 
little things. I feel like we could lose one piece of furniture. It'd be this one. Totally up to you. Because it's the least functional. Exactly. Yeah. Um, okay. What about these items? I don't, those were just there. I don't know what the deal is with those. Got all the dog stuff. I mean, functionally, it seems good there. Um, aesthetically, mm, I don't know. No. Now I'm a little nervous. <laughs> How much time do we have left? <laughs> do we have an hour and a half? Boy, we can do it. <laughs> Marilyn, I'm so excited to show you your home and what we did today. <laughs> I don't know what to say because I'm going, I have no idea what's going to happen when I get in there. Are you ready to see it? Absolutely. All right, let's, let's go. go. Oh my gosh. What a cool idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. You did a beautiful job. I can't get over it. Let me show you. So it looks like home. Over on this side of the room, I gathered some of your furniture over here because I wanted to open up the window space. And I found your art and hung a few of your pieces. Got you a little kitchen cart, so you have a little more counter space. And we got you a pretty headboard. Oh, that is gorgeous. Some new bedding. That um, is beautiful. A new dog bed for Pasha. <laughs> I can't believe it. I, really, I, I thought there's nothing they can do with this here. Absolutely nothing. But boy, was I wrong. It was pretty exciting. <laughs> it was a little stressful at some points, but I'm happy with how it turned out and mostly I'm just really glad that Marilyn is happy. I really just wanted her to have some peace in her home and feel just joyful when she looks around there instead of overwhelmed. In general, our homes should be supporting our lives as they are now. Marilyn's life and a lot of people at this stage, their lives are a little simpler. It feels important to have a home that is aligned with that. And at the same time, to still have a home that inspires joy and that is beautiful. I am absolutely blown away. When I walked in, I went, oh my gosh, but it's so roomy and it's light, it's more open. It feels like home. It doesn't feel like a junkyard. I can't wait to get up in the morning and say, wow, look at this. No complaints, not one. I thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. Can I hug you, please? <laughs>